Okay, so I'm going to peel off Carr. I want to peel him off if he lets me, okay? Man, this is small. guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and this video guys i want to show you um this game that i got from the dollar tree yes the dollar tree and as you guys know the dollar tree went up to a dollar and 25 cents and so i went to the dollar tree and i found this game right here very popular game called monopoly we all know this game we all love this game right so this game was a dollar twenty-five, and they did had uh, they did have other games that I will review later on, but I had to review Monopoly because I love Monopoly. Monopoly costs around twenty dollars, fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on which one you get from your local Walmart or Target or other places like that. And so this Monopoly is only a dollar and twenty-five cents. So it says ages eight plus two to four players okay normally monopoly is like maybe two to six maybe maybe eight okay it does say some assembly required and the brand is color forms as you can see so this is what it looks like here is the back of it as you can see so yeah let's open it up and let's see what happens so I just opened it up from the side and as you can see the dice is right there. It went to the back, but the dice was right there in the front. So that's interesting. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out everything and then we'll take a look at it. All right, so I took everything out of the box. So let's go through everything one by one. So they do give you these two dice right here. They are very, very tiny, okay? This is half the size of regular dice. So they're very small, they're very lightweight. This is very easy to lose, by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, they look okay. They're just a little bit too tiny for me. But they seem to get the job done, or they should at least. Actually, they give you three dice. I just found this one. So it's three in total. Last time I checked, Monopoly was only two dice. But maybe they give you three just in case you lose one. Who knows? Or maybe because um, they're so small, they want to give you three. Who knows? So here is the Monopoly money. So everything, again, is just like half the size. So it's very tiny money, as you can see. In my hand, this is very tiny. So I'm gonna open this up. So here is the money, as you can see. Okay, we have a good amount of ones. Put that down. We have some fives here. Very thin, guys. Very thin. Oh, wow. Didn't realize that was two. That's how thin this is. So it's very flimsy. It's just paper, guys. Let's see. We got our fives, we got our tens here. So again, here's it close up so you can guys can check out that quality. We have our 20s here. Okay, again, very thin. Feels like paper, well it is paper, but you know. Have our 50s here. So I'm not sure how many you have, but it feels pretty thick as a stack but because individually it feels extremely tiny here are the hundreds and here are the five hundreds so this is definitely a game for kids people with very small hands because i have regular size hands and this is just too small for me they do have instructions as you can see but we'll get to these last so here's something that I found very interesting. These are the houses in the hotels. And then the, um, whatever you call, like, the the car, like, the things you use to actually, you know, players or whatever. You have your collect. When you pass go, you have your free parking and you have your in jail. 
and then you have your rare rules. So these are stickers, as you can see. So I guess when somebody buys a house, they just put the sticker down. I'm not sure how easy that removal would be, but I'm assuming that's how this is supposed to work. I'm not sure what these are for, but we'll get back to these later. Here we have all the properties, as you can see. Um, they all seem to be there. So yeah, pretty much that's how that goes here. So I just wanna show you guys all the properties. Um, here are the chance. I'm not sure why it looks like that. The chance or the community chest. I'm not too sure. So it looks like there's only two chances and two community chests. That's not, you know, great. But hey, it was a dollar and 25 cents. We'll take what we can get. Here's the back. So it shows you the mortgage price. And then they have, you know, these right here, which is nice. And the chances on the back. So yeah, these you would just, you know, pop out like this. You just cut these out. Well, not cut them out, but just pop them out and just tear these off like this. Fold them back and forth, and then see they'll just pop straight out like that. So yeah, again, I would definitely recommend this for kids, or even like if you're on like a road trip and you want to bring some board games, but not the entire game, I think this would be good for that too. But I don't think you can get that many uses out of this because of the material. So of course we have the Monopoly board right here. Uh, you put your chance cards is here treasure chest cards there so the monopoly board looks really good it's nice and shiny the material feels a little bit better it's not as you know thin it's not as you know flimsy well it is flimsy but not as flimsy as you um the paper so can't complain too much there so yes yeah, so i'm just going to put down the go right here the sticker right here so I'm just gonna peel this off right here where it says go. Very easy to peel as you can see. And I'm just gonna place it here. It tells you where it should go. So I'm gonna try to do this as accurate as possible on camera. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, I think that's, it's not perfect, but hey. Looks pretty good. So yeah, that looks, feels pretty, you know, sturdy. Feels pretty sturdy. It's not an easy peel off. Well, we're gonna test that out later on. Okay, so we have the go there. I don't know why, why not just print these on? Like, why would anybody remove these? I don't understand why that's not already on there like the rest of the properties, but hey, it was $1. We're gonna take what we can get for that price. So now I'm just gonna put the in jail sticker. Hope that's not too blurry for you guys. Now I do not remember which way jail goes. We're just gonna assume it goes like this. See if I can get this right. I do not have very steady hands, guys. Okay, it's not perfect, but hey, it's there. Okay, now jail's on there. Now we have to put on free parking. Okay, now we're gonna put free parking on like this. Okay, not perfect, but hey, it's on there. Okay, so this is where you put the rare rows at. But my thing is, why not print that on there? Like that's so, that doesn't make any sense to me. Somebody please explain that logic. Like. Okay, let's print out stickers to put on the game board, but it should already be there. But for some reason, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make them work harder <laughs> to do that since I'm only paying a dollar. <laughs> okay, so we wanna put on jail here. Uh, it's not as straight as I would like it, but it's on there. And then we're just gonna put these railroads we're gonna put these railroads on really quickly. Guys, these railroads feel really small. So these feel a little bit harder to put on. Again, this is not really for um, 
people that have average size. Definitely not for people that have big hands. This is definitely for little kids' hands. <laughs> I kid you not. All right, progress. Okay, so we have all the railroads on. As you can see, all the railroads are on. Oh, I didn't talk about how big this board is. This board is not big at all, guys. It's very, it's very small, but um, it'll get the job done. Age is eight plus. Okay. Um, object of the game. Okay, we, we know how to play the game. We just want to see what's different. Okay, the setup. Let's read the setup. Pop out all 32 cards here, obviously. Okay, carefully remove the color forms paper token from the sheet. Okay, so yeah, the um the players tokens or whatever you want to call them. You peel that off. Oh, okay, you peel the stickers off and you put them on those circles that's what that's for okay that makes sense because i'm like do you do they expect this to put those stickers on the board and keep removing that because that's a job okay peel off the game board cleans and place them on the board as shown i can barely even see this little photo like what is that even demonstrating i can't even see that can y'all see that because lord knows i can't so you want to take these stickers off here so this is a Dollar Tree version, guys. I know this is different from the regular version. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off Carr. I wanna peel him off if he lets me, okay. Man, this is small. Okay. Then we're gonna place him on one of these circles. Look how small this is. Like, I am struggling grabbing this and I don't even have no nails. Like, these are my natural nails. My nails are not long at all. Okay, so. This is ridiculously small. Okay, I'm just gonna put this like this. Hope you guys can see that pretty good. I'm just gonna place it like that. I think that's right, y'all, is that right? I think that's what that thing said. <laughs> Let me look at it again. Yeah, see, they just put the sticker on the circle like that under number two. See, I'm just gonna do that for all of them. Y'all, Penguin is my favorite. Don't ask me why. I, I play Monopoly all the time on my phone because I, I bought it from the App Store. And I always use Penguin. But man, for somebody that has big hands, y'all, don't buy this. If you got big hands, don't even try it. But if you have average hands, then you have a chance of doing all this extra work. Okay, so I just peeled off Dog. Just going to put him here. Then we have T-Rex, y'all. I don't like T-Rex. T-Rex always be cheating to me. What y'all think? How often do y'all even play Monopoly? Let me know. Y'all, T-Rex is smaller than the rest of them. I am struggling. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Y'all, this is ridiculous. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And it's not on there great. You know, it could be on there better. But hey, it got on there. Okay, we have cat here. So really, you guys could just print out your own stickers of whatever you want it to be and put it on these circles. You don't necessarily have to use the stickers that they have. You just have to make sure that you print them out the right size. And like, never mind. I was like, why are these black and white? They couldn't give us no color. You know what I'm saying? Like, then I was like, okay, in the actual game, they are this color, so maybe that's okay. But on in the um, online game, on the app store, they actually, they don't come in these colors. Do they come in these colors? Y'all, maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know why I'm always complaining. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop all these out real quick. So they do pop out very easily. I recommend putting the stickers on while they're in like this thing because otherwise it might be a job. Well, this was a job too, but it might be a harder job. All right, let's see, we're almost there. These feel like okay material. They don't feel as, you know, flimsy. They feel a little bit more harder than that paper, all right? Okay, so I have all these stickers here. Let's see. 
have all these stickers here as you guys can see they do give you some extra circles maybe for you to print out your own stickers so yeah that is what they are looking like no they are not the best but they will get the job done okay what's next okay we know how to play the game why do we have three dice where is that explained that oh one thing they did not do is explain how these houses well something i did not read how the houses work as in do we put the stickers on the board or what okay let me see if i can find that then i'll be right back okay guys unfortunately i did not see where it talked about how to put the houses on the board or maybe i just overlooked it i'm not too sure but i could not find that so again you have all these properties here you just want to pop all these out which I'm not about to do at the moment, but you guys get the point. It's very easy to pop out. I'll show you one more time. Um, just fold this like this, boom, done. Very simple, very easy. So this is very small to my hand. I know like ridiculous size, but yeah, that's how this, <laughs> this is how it's set up, okay? Again, another thing, you only get two community chests and two um, chances, why? I don't know. Obviously, we're going to land on that a few times. So why just give us two? I don't understand that, but it is what it is. So yeah, guys, I assume you just put these houses, the stickers and hotels on the actual board. So let's try this out. This probably isn't going to be good, but let's do it anyway. Okay, here's my board. I'm playing Monopoly. This is me. Okay, no, I'm not in jail. I don't want to be in jail. Let me be go, right? I'm here and go. Let's say, let me roll the dice. Oh, it does say roll two dice. I don't know if I said that before or not. Okay, bam. I got a seven. I want to move seven places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chance. I only have two chance as we already talked about. Chance, okay. Get out of jail, we're not in jail, useless. Okay, so let me roll again. I'm at a five, let's see. One, hold on, one, two, come, wow. Okay, three, four, five. Okay, we can't build a house off that, so let's just say I rolled a, what did I roll? Uh, let's just say I rolled a six. So I wanna buy this property right here. It's ridiculously small, I can't even read that from here. But you guys get the point. Okay, so let's say I bought all three properties, let me buy a house. I'm gonna peel this off. Why am I struggling, guys? I don't know. Really tiny, right? So I'm just gonna put, let me get these dice off of here. I'm gonna put that here, put that right here. Bam, that's my house. There it is, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put another house there. Let's say I got two houses. Here I am again, struggling. Okay, I'm gonna put this house here. Bam, there it is. So to put stickers on here, you probably will have to, you know, pick up the board and get really close to it so you can um, really put it on there right or straight. Okay, bam, I bought another house. So I can't put it here because it's kind of on the electric company. Well, you can, but I wouldn't. So I would probably put it up here, maybe. Okay, so let's say, let's just pretend this is four houses. I'm aware that it's three, but let's just pretend that it's four. And let's say I want to build a hotel. I would remove all of these. So let's see how easy this peels off. That's my portion. Okay. Let's see how much I struggle. Okay, that came out pretty good. Okay, that wasn't hard at all. So we're gonna put this back here because we don't wanna waste our houses because we wanna play this again in a couple of days or next week. Bam, there it is. So let's see how hard these are. Okay, these aren't terrible to remove, but we all know this is not gonna last as in eventually if you keep peeling these stickers off and putting it back on, it's not gonna stick. That's my only con with this. So maybe they should have just gave us some more 
of those circles to put these on. All right. So yeah, that's how the houses and the hotels work. Again, here's the mini money. We have the board with the stickers that you have to put on, which isn't, you know, terrible, but I would have light for it to already be on. Now, where did my tokens go? Okay. We have our beautiful tokens here that we created. Didn't take too long. So maybe five, 10 minutes start up for putting all the stickers on and taking off all the um, properties off the card. Again, we have our properties just to show you one more time. Did not peel all of these cards off. And then we have our wonderful board with our wonderful instructions. Okay, so let's talk about cons. Cons, I don't like the stickers. Two, I don't like the size. Uh, I think that's a, oh, I don't like the size of the dice, the board, the stickers or the properties. I don't like any size at all. <laughs> Well, I, I guess the properties are okay, but everything else, I guess the board is okay, but it could be better. Um, pros, the price was only $1.25. Another pro, I have all the components to actually play the game. Another pro, I have the instructions. So I guess the pros outweigh the cons. It just depends on you, what you think, but, um, Again, I think this would be really great for kids. I think this would be really great for if you're traveling and you just want to bring like a board game. Um, price rise is really great. You can't beat a dollar in 25 cents, guys. So like a regular Monopoly, again, it's like 15 to $20. And, um, you know, the quality is there for that price. I mean, I expect it to be there, but... Um, for me, I would probably buy the actual game because you can actually reuse it so many times. This quality is very poor, so you can maybe get three to four games out of this without, you know, tearing or anything like that. So again, if you're balling on a budget, you just want to bring it, to, you know, for traveling or just, you know, small stuff. You don't plan on playing this often at all. This is for you. Okay, again. You can get this at your local Dollar Tree. Not every Dollar Tree might have it, okay? These were kind of hard to find at some of my Dollar Trees, but in some Dollar Trees, they have so many because they're in the wrong section, for one. And um, two, I don't think a lot of people are really looking at the tours at Dollar Tree. Well, they're looking at the wrong kind of tours, <laughs> okay? So, um... Yeah, so overall, I give this a three and a half stars out of five because there are some good pros here, but then the cons are, mm, I don't know. So it's just for me, when I travel, go out of town, vacation, sure, yeah, sure. But I'll probably leave it where, <laughs> where I'm at at that time. I probably wouldn't take this back home because I have the actual game, so I have no use for it. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know the quality and what I thought about this game. Let me know down in the comments if you have this game, what you think about it. Or if you don't have this game, let me know what you think about this video. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If, you're, if you've been to this channel before, don't forget to like this video and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.